I feel like that was something that everybody needs to hear. There is so much hatred, so much hatred about the whole country, not just the government, not just the prime minister, not just that political party, but the whole country. There is some, something Even which I'd like to say to you at this point. I'm sorry to interrupt you. When you want to break a nation's development, you destroy two things as far as its population is concerned. You destroy their self-confidence and their self-respect. And you tell them that you can't do it. We are superior. So the self-confidence is destroyed. And then you are useless. So your self-respect is destroyed. Now, in India, people of your generation, Ms. Naik, we see this burgeoning self-confidence. I mean, you are interviewing me. Let me ask you, do you think you are inferior in any way to a Brit or a German or an American in terms of intellectual ability? Somebody your age? I mean, how come Indians head the biggest corporations? They have the highest per capita in the United States. They are sought after everywhere because of our intellectual capability. The Y2K bug, they were running to India. There's this story about a fellow going to ask for uh, money from a hedge fund for some startup many years ago in America. They said, fine, fine, fine. You know, we've heard it. What you have to say, we're not interested. Let's sign on the dotted line. Here's $100 million. When he signed, they said, wait, wait, wait. This says Murphy. We thought your name was Murthy. We were going to give you the money if you're an Indian, not if you're an American. It was a bit of a joke at that time. People said, you know, that was a respect. Hundreds of thousands of Indians went all over the world to deal with the Y2K bar. They understand our intellectual capability. Mm -hmm.